last soundbite in this series, we showed how the layout of the notes on a guitar fretboard compares with the layout of notes on a keyboard. Here's a quick visual reminder of that. Now I want to show you how using the caged system can help you orientate yourself so that you can find your way around the guitar fretboard just as easily as the keyboard player can find their way around the keyboard. If we take all the C notes on our keyboard and play them on the guitar, problem that due to the two-dimensional nature of the fretboard we're spoilt for choice as to the possibilities. The lower C can be played either here or here. Two choices for that note. The C an octave higher can be played here, 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 here or here choices for that note. If you imagine this is a 24 fret uh, guitar, this C can be played here, here, here and at fret 22. So that's four choices for that one. And then the last C, the very highest C, uh, can only be played in one place. So that is still pretty confusing, isn't it? It's for this reason that we have to apply a completely different system to the one used on a keyboard. A system that works for guitar players because it not only copes with the two-dimensional problem, but also it relates to something that practically all guitarists learn right at the very start of their guitar playing journey. First off, let's restrict our view to just the first 14 frets of the guitar. After all, most of us know that from the 12th fret upwards, all the shapes on the guitar are just a copy of those on the first 12 frets. I've coloured in all our C notes with the different colours representing the different pitches of these notes. Then using the yellow highlighter I've connected all these C notes together. What the cage system does is then link this pattern with the pattern made by the root notes of each of the five most commonly played open chords. The fact that this actually happens in the right order to spell a recognisable word, C-A-G-E-D, caged, proves that the universe was actually designed by an intelligent being. Either that, or it's just an amazing coincidence, of course. In the next lesson, We'll go over how to learn the cage system so that you turn it into a powerful tool that helps you learn just about everything else on the guitar. If you found this little lesson interesting, you'll be pleased to know that on the Secret Guitar Teacher site, we have a course that takes you through learning the cage system every single step of the way. It shows you how you can use it to find every single note, chord, arpeggio, scale and mode in any key, in any direction, at every point on the fretboard. Depending on where you're watching this video, you can access the site either from the link on the screen or from the link in the video description near the top or from the free tour button to the right of the video screen. See you again soon.